Hi guys, it's Reese. Welcome back for a quick uh, little video. Thank you to all of my old subscribers. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. New subscribers, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will know every single time I come through with a new video. We are going to go ahead and we are going to jump right into this video. So we're going to be talking about Jazzy. So I watched her video about the police coming to her home. Jazzy said that this was the second time that someone has called the police to her home. Okay. Sounding like somebody was fighting loud noises. Okay. Now, y'all already know. I'm going to tell you how I feel. It is what it is. Now, because of the virus on what's going on. I feel like they should have had a little bit more leadway with you. And I'm going to tell you why. It has been two weeks for these kids to be cooped up into the house. They can't go to the mall. They can't go to any parks. They cannot go outside. They have no type of recreation. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, they are going to be a little bit noisy and run around in the house. Because where else are they going to do it? You get what I'm saying? Now, I am also going to say that there is a level of respect also to have to people that live underneath you or beside you. I don't know if you have tenants that are underneath you. You get what I'm saying? Or I don't know if your garage is there. I don't know how your building is set up. You get what I'm saying? But... If you do, like I said before, have some type of, you know what I'm saying, respect. Because you have to put it in, you know what I'm saying, into your perspective if that was you and how you would feel. I have watched videos. Um, the other day, I think it was, you put a video up and you were letting your son run down the hallway saying, ready, get set, go. It is what it is. That is an example where, I mean, you have to still have a little respect for other people in the unit with you or underneath. You get what I'm saying. But at the same token, I do understand that school is not in, no recreation. Where are these kids going to run around at? Okay. So, like I said, I feel like for some reason they should have gave you a little bit more leadway. But the other, the other um, issue, too, is that this is the second time that the police has been called. So you may want to think about that. Now, I also watched your video when you were very upset. You were crying, you know what I mean, in the bathroom. And I'm going to tell you, I felt really bad for you. And this is the reason why I felt bad for you. <sighs> because your daughter was the one who actually saw you crying. And... She told you it was going to be okay. That right there rubbed my little heart just a little bit. Why is this not on? Okay. So that right there made me feel kind of weird. You get what I'm saying? Because she saw that. And you saying that she doesn't know what you're going to going through. But one thing you got to realize, Jazzy, that when you are actually going through something, you may think that she does not know. But she can get the feeling from you. It, ra it radiates to her. She knows when something is wrong. You get what I'm saying. So that's the part that kind of bothered me. You get what I'm saying. But at the same token, I'm going to tell you this. If you want to be with Philip, then you be with him. But one thing that you also have to realize is that you can forgive him. But just don't forget. You get what I'm saying. Forgive him. But just don't forget. As in reactors or whatever, or people that you feel that bash you, I wouldn't care what they had to say. If I wanted to get back with Philip or who I, you know what I mean, then that's what I would do. Because that's my happiness. When this camera is turned off, I am by myself. You get what I'm saying? I'm by myself. So, with that being said, I am going to do what I want to do. Because this is my life and this is what makes me happy. Not only that, but you said that Philip is the only guy really that you've been with for like 14 years or so. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, 
you have a type of bond with him. Same as I was saying, like you and your daughter, she has a type of bond with you. So therefore you have to be careful with what you let her see and what bond, what radiates from off of you to her. You got to be careful about that. You get what I'm saying? Because see, going back to it, your daughter, she goes to bed. So when she goes to bed at night, you know what I mean? That's how kids are. They lay there and they think about stuff and think about stuff. And that could really be bothering her. But also people come at you when you say Philip's name because you got to realize the content that you put out about Philip. You get what I'm saying? So therefore, a lot of us are not going to like him because we don't even know him. But being as though the content that has been put out, it's like we actually do know him. So that's why you get a lot of bashing, you know what I mean, from other people. Now, I'm going to say what I got to say, and I'm going to say it to you nicely. One thing I don't do is I don't bash. I tell you what it is. You get what I'm saying? If you do something wrong with your kids and I see it, I'm going to tell you. Point blank simple. But I don't get on here and call people hoes and bitches and... um. I mean, talk, I don't do none of that. I just tell you, you do something wrong with your child, I'm going to straight up tell you, like, why you do that dumb ass shit? You know, why would you do that? I'm going to tell you. It is, that, that's just me. But to disrespect you, that ain't what I do. It's not what I do at all. But yeah, at the end of the day, it is, it, at the end of the day, you have to do what makes you happy. Not what makes... You know what I'm saying? For example, not what makes the first person um happy. Not what makes the second person happy. You have to do what you feel inside of your heart. You get what I'm saying? Don't don't sit here and listen to these people, you know what I mean, on the internet telling you stuff. Now, you ask me personally, do I think that you should deal with um Philip? I'm gonna tell you straight up, fuck no. From what you have told me and what has come out over the internet about him, I'm going to tell you again, fuck no. That's no with a capital N and a capital O with a bold underline underneath of it. But again, you're going to do what you want to do. And that is what I'm saying. Do what makes you happy. Do not do what makes the next person happy. Go ahead and forgive, but sweetheart, do not forget. I am going to go ahead and get off of here. You can share this video. You can like it. You can comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.